heck is that? A track something with a big fan in the back, air cooled, and beautiful old stone homes. Another time. What was that track wagon? Who knows? I love driving the country roads, get to see everything. Yeah, another semi and a big gravel pit. Making product. Yep, piles and piles of aggregate product, different grades. Nice state park right on some lake. I don't know which one it is. I was reading about the Erie Canal and they said when they hit the swamps, the Montezuma swamps, west of Syracuse that we just drove through. Yeah, it was Canada geese sitting on the side of the road waiting to get swallowed up by some big intercooler. Can I help you? Well, I didn't make a video of the sleep last night, the slushy rain. But I don't have to because we're getting it again today. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, it's icy. And it's not because of some weather system that makes hail. It's because it's cold outside. Yeah, we got little, 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 little chunks. Oh my goodness. What? Uh, it's funny, but it was the same place last night that it slushed. Lockheed Martin Airplane Manufacturing, or whatever they make there. I don't know. Somebody will know what they make there. They don't make canoes. <laughs> Image airplanes. Silver tube to fly through the sky. Oh yeah, lovely weather. Lovely. Just lovely. Lovely. What do you think, Mom? Pretty crappy weather, huh? Luckily we're not walking. We're out of fuel like we were an hour ago. Ice cover. Yep. Watertown, Binghamton. It'll clear, I hope. What a beautiful day. What's Dodge's most famous disposable car of the 80s? Uh, horrible. <laughs> it's in pretty good shape too. It's buzzing down the road, 70 miles an hour, 110 kilometers an hour. Yep, safe driver. He even uses his turn signal. Just, I guess it's an American Volkswagen. Didn't those use the American? Oh, didn't the Volkswagen Beetles use that engine? Or what was it? Not the Beetles, though. I'm getting all my merge wixed. The Beetle. The. Fox, the Jetta, got the rabbit. Rabbit. The rabbit used the, the Omni Horizon horrible engine. Or was the horrible used the rabbit engine? No, I forget. Just driving down the road. Skies are cleared up for now. Won't be long. It'll be snowing soon. Even if it is the 12th of May or something. East of Syracuse, somewhere. I guess between Syracuse and Utica. The beautiful valleys of New York. Beautiful. People live here. They got no grocery store to shop at. Empty. It's funny how you just pass through these towns. Right down the old Main Street. Probably 15 miles per gallon. Nobody gets 20 in a diesel suburban. Sorry. I'm taking it easy. Going 63 miles an hour. Speedo is slow by 3 miles an hour, 5%. 97 kilometers an hour. Take it easy. No rush. Arrive alive. Mohawk River. Commerce West. Amazing. And Doug. 
18, 20 something, it was immediate, immediately successful. Big job. That was Utica. Now we're between Utica and Amsterdam. One day I'll do a real nice walking tour of that former great city. A forgotten industrial city. We got this band right now with sun breaking through the clouds. On the side of the hills and mountains, valleys, see that? It's a band of sunshine. all day like it is in Palm Springs. I heard a story on NPR today. They were discussing valley fever, a fungus that leaves, that lives in the ground and it affects people's brains. Oh my goodness, it's a terrible story about this fellow that makes Pino Grigio in Paso Robles and that's where I bought the Corvair. Right near there, Atascadero, Paso Robles. Terrible. Central Valley. President Obama responded. Inland Empire. Just like this, minus the greenery. Yeah, Valley Fever. We're driving. 50 miles, 90 kilometers to Amsterdam. We're going to cut through and go to Saratoga Springs. Walk around and enjoy. Some nice weather, I hope. We're doing good. Cruising along, cruise control on. Love is relaxing. No speed traps, too much traffic. We'll have to wait till we hit the Adirondack Northway for the speed traps. Everybody's a sitting duck. Intentionally targeting. Another little city. A huge concrete building that spans city blocks. You see it in a second. Huge, huge factory. Look at that thing. What the heck is it? Is that Herkimer, New York? Herkimer! Sounds like a German name. Someone came from Germany and had a dream. I wonder what that does now, that factory or whatever it is. Not a factory facility. There it is, just peeking between the trees. I think you get one more glimpse of it. Oh, it's gone. Yep. Yeah. American Manufacturing. Bangladesh, their new factories collapse. Our old factories last 100 years. Thank goodness for government regulation. Building codes. And more grain. Herkimer. Herkimer and Mohawk. The Mohawk Valley. Valley of the Jolly, ho ho ho. Green Giant. Herkimer. have to ride through here one day on the Harley or the bicycles. See what these places look like up close and personal. Check the back of the building. It hides a lot of secrets. Trains, rivers, canals. Man-made. We've made quite the gouge on the landscape in the last 150 years, 175 years. Yeah. Cooperstown, isn't there a baseball hall of fame, or wasn't there, or a car museum? Gems along the Mohawk. Erie Canal cruises. I have to take that one day. There's a few railroads before they get dismantled. And they get turned into rails, to trails. There's these old railways that used to bring iron ore and whatever other materials. Not much to see here. Herkimer Tulu. Soda, don't you? Nope! Water! Free! Sometimes you can even get bubbly water. The Mohawk River, Erie Canal. There's two duckies. Better head for warmer climes. Not doing good here with freezing weather we've had. Waterways. Now they're used for 
recreation. Staglemites and staggle sites. One drips up and one drips down. Turn the camera off for exactly five seconds. 1001, 1000. Oh, wait, I thought I was starting with a blazer. <laughs> yeah, it's just nice scenery here. Windmills off in the distance, farms, rolling hills, green grass, nice. Oh, another town nestled in the valley. See it? Gone. Sorry. Town in the valley. I read a book about it. Just call it Shangri-La. Retailers that buy clothing oh made in the country signed on to an ambitious safety plan meant to prevent yeah, future tragedies. Let the manufacturer in Bangladesh just give them more than a dollar a day, a buck and a quarter a day, minimum wage. Wear their fingers to the bone. And what does it actually commit retailers? Beautiful, huh? Well, this is the kind of agreement that could really nice. make a difference in Bangladesh. So nice. Companies stick to it. Uh, basically, the retailers will have to underwrite some very rigorous. Oh, barns fall down. 